Hi all you beautiful people out there, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to talk about drugstore makeup for beginners. So if you are a college goer or you've just started to work or just generally new to makeup, this is the video for you. So I'll be breaking the video in two parts. Part one that I'm going to be showing you today is going to talk about all the various drugstore products that I have picked up for you, their price points, how they work, what their claims are, what the textures are, and we're going to swatch the products as well. Now, once you've had a chance to pick up the products that you like after a few days, we're going to discuss about the application of these same products what are the techniques to apply them, the tools you can use, and what is what are the tips and tricks that I have learned on the way on my beauty journey. So guys, one tip, when you're starting out and you're a beginner, always, always go for drugstore brands because they are very affordable. Some of the drugstore brands give high quality makeup and uh, clearly their price points are much, much more affordable. So you don't want to jump in directly into the very expensive makeup. See what works for you, for your skin type, the colors, play with the makeup at the drugstore and then you move on to the more expensive version. So sit tight, grab a cup of tea or coffee and let's jump into the video. So guys, for the first product and uh, the first thing that you use on your face in makeup is a primer. I have two options here. My number one is a pore eraser primer from Maybelline. This says it's poreless, smooth skin, lightweight and breathable. Now this primer is actually very beautiful. I have been using this for over a year. It has a very silicone texture and this primer is absolutely amazing. It sets on uh, the skin very well. It doesn't feel like you're wearing anything it's very moisturizing as well, although it's very silicone but yet very moisturizing. And uh, your makeup sets in place. It doesn't let the makeup budge, you guys. Trust me. I've been using it ever since and this primer is on top of my list. The other drugstore option I have for you is the primer from Colorbar. So this primer is also extremely silicone you will see. It's slightly thicker than the Maybelline one. But this works beautifully as well. I prefer the Maybelline over this, but both of these primers are excellent, so you can make your choice. And irrespective of your skin type, I think when you start off your makeup, you definitely need a primer. The Maybelline one retails for thousand rupees, and this one here retails for eight fifty rupees. So you can take your pick. Moving on to the next product which is going to be a foundation and if you've seen a couple of my videos you would know that I love the Maybelline Fit Me foundation. I am in the shade Warm 28, uh, 128 Warm Nude and this is a beautiful foundation you guys. This is sheer to medium coverage and it just makes my skin look like second skin. It's like weightless and you cannot see uh, you cannot really figure out as if I'm actually wearing a foundation. I'm wearing it right now. You can see it doesn't look uh, cakey at all. I think I've been wearing it for almost four hours now and you cannot uh, judge that I'm actually wearing a foundation because it looks like second skin. And the foundation doesn't budge you guys. I mean it won't crease in the lines or under the eyes or anything of that sort. However, you have to set this foundation with a powder for sure. And this here retails for $5.25. The other option I can give you from the drugstore which works really well and I've been using this one also for a very long time is uh, the L'Oreal True Match and this is 2R2C Vanilla Rose. This is a full coverage foundation. It's going to give you a beautiful coverage. You can see the coverage. Of course, this color is light for me because I am tanned right now. But this also has a very beautiful, luminous kind of a finish. It's extremely buildable. You can make one layer and if you feel you need more, then you can add on to on the second one. But make sure you blend the first layer and then go on with the second one. On to our third product is going to be a powder. And this is a pressed powder from Fit Me. 
I'm in the color 220 natural beige and this is a matte poreless normal to oily uh, powder. Now this powder is also extremely beautiful, very affordable. This retails for 480 rupees. So that's how the powder looks. It's extremely creamy in texture. And it feels beautiful on skin. I think it's so perfect for setting your uh, uh, makeup base and it's so so affordable. It comes with an applicator like this. For the next product uh, is going to be a concealer. I think a good concealer can really do wonders to your skin. You can highlight your face and you can cover as well. Now in concealer I am going to talk about two things. One is a corrector and one is a concealer. Talking first about corrector because you apply that first. I have here the LA Pro Conceal Corrector in the color peach. Now this comes with an applicator like this, a brush. You squeeze out the product. It's very peachy in color. And the work it does on your skin, you guys, it's beautiful. It's a peachy corrector right here. So why do we use a corrector? Uh, for me, uh, I have dark circles. I don't have massive dark circles, but my dark circles are quite bad. So I use this corrector first to color correct my under eye because any kind of bluer tones or darker tones under your eyes can first be corrected with a color corrector and then it should be concealed with a good concealer and then set with a powder. So for me, this peach color works well because my circles are not horrible. They are not like blackish dark but if your circles are darker than mine uh, you've seen me without makeup and in the next video you will see me without makeup if you think your circles are darker than mine then you should go with an orange color i'm going to talk about the concealer my most favorite drugstore concealer is needless to say the fit me this uh, is in the shade 25 medium and this works beautifully for me it is a perfect match for me uh, for my skin tone, this works really well. So if you're my skin tone, you can pick up the same foundation and the same concealer. Now this concealer blends like butter. I mean, this is the most beautiful concealer I have ever used. I've used some of the high-end ones also, but for a drugstore brand to come up with a concealer like that, it's massive. It's really beautiful. It's my holy grail concealer. I always reach out for this one. And it's, it's a beautiful concealer. I can go on and on about it. The second option I can give you again from Maybelline, this is not a Maybelline sponsored video. It's just that I love Maybelline products so much. I mean, they make exceptional products, high end quality, price points are so, so good. I'm sorry, I think I forgot to tell you about the price for the corrector. It's $5.95, that's the retail price. And for this one right here, the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer retails for $5.25. The concealer right here that in my hand is the Instant Age Remind Concealer. It is for 620 rupees and this concealer is also extremely beautiful. It comes with a small kind of a doofa applicator on top. It's like a sponge. For anyone who's who freaks out uh, putting the product directly through the tube on their face through an applicator may not like this. But this is a great concealer as well. The shade I am in is medium moin, same color as my Fit Me. This uh, concealer is great as well, but I don't reach out for this concealer as much. But uh, I think if uh, I have to give you one concealer, it has to be the Fit Me concealer. Moving on to my next uh, product and the product that we all should have in our bags and I'll tell you why is a brow product and this is from L'Oreal. Uh, this retails for 950 bucks but I think it's again on sale on Nykaa. This is how it looks. It comes with a brush uh, alongside. The brush in here is also extremely beautiful. Now I'm going to dip both the colors that there are in here and I'm going to show you how this actually is. It's a it's a powder essentially and it's a very light powder so basically if uh, you want to fill your brows in slightly and you don't like doing up your brows too much like me 
then a powder product works best because my brows in between are a bit scanty so I like to just fill them in however my brows are thicker so I don't do overdo them for someone who likes to do their brows well I would uh, advise a pencil this is uh, the color bar pencil this comes with the that's how it looks the color I'm going to swatch it for you this is in the color chestnut 001 this pencil is extremely beautiful you can see how it's gliding on as butter it's beautiful the color is great as well I think it will go on most Indian skin tones um, this one I was using for a very long time until I actually stumbled upon the L'Oreal one which I felt worked best for me this also has an applicator like this which is actually a brow brush so it becomes very easy to brush your brows first and then fill them in guys this one retails for 650 and I think for 650 this is an exceptional pencil to have moving on to my next favorite product I love bronzers I think they really warm up your face really well and they give you the very beautiful warm look now there's a difference between uh, bronzers and contour uh, in a starting kit you don't need a contour as such but for a bronzer for sure it will warm up your face beautifully and add a little texture and little sharpness to your face the bronzer that I like to use is the Rimmel bronzer this is in the color 025 sun glow so this bronzer right here retails for 510 rupees you can see I'm using this bronzer on my face today and uh, I think it's the most beautiful bronzer moving on uh, to again one of my favorite things so I like face products quite a bit uh, the one after this is going to be my most favorite product in the world uh, but this right here is a blush from color bar there are many blushes but I think color bars brushes are very pigmented even Maybelline blushes are beautiful you can uh, pick up some of the wet and wild brushes also uh, but this blush is beautiful it's in the color coral bliss and this retails for 675 it's a beautiful uh, kind of a rosy pink color and this is the blush that I'm wearing today you can see how beautiful it looks and the next product I'm going to talk about is a balm I'm wearing it today and you can guess what it is it's a highlighter this highlighter is from makeup revolution it's the makeup revolution pro highlight pro illuminate now this highlighter is so pigmented sorry excuse me about that my pan is broken it's a very very loved and used highlighter now I'm going to talk about the tools you need to put uh, some of uh, the products but I think for a highlighter you can just go in with your finger and just pat it like that on your face and then just face slightly see it's added to uh, the glow and my finger actually works like a brush so you don't need a brush separately we're trying to minimize the expense here. Now I'm going to show you how this highlighter. Ooh la la, look at that. That's the most beautiful highlighter I have ever seen. I love a good glow and this one will give you that. It's very inexpensive. It retails for 850 rupees. I think that's bomb for a highlighter as good as this. Now moving on to the eyes, uh, now I'm going to talk about a couple of options that you can have for yourself. First being uh, my most favorite eyeliner, I like matte eyeliners, I do not like glossy eyeliners, so I've picked the most beautiful matte eyeliner right here. This is the Debra eyeliner, uh, Debra Milano has some of the few greatest products, this is the eyeliner I'm wearing right here. And the applicator of this is very beautiful as well. It looks like this. The next product is uh, that you can use if you are not a person who uses liquid liners, you can use the gel liners. I have in two colors. One is a black, the other one is a blue. And these are from L'Oreal. 
these are beautiful their texture is great and they come with a brush like this so you don't even have to bother uh, getting a brush mine is a bit dry but I will still show you the texture here sorry my swatching is not all that great talking about liners uh, the other thing if you are not a person who likes an eyeliner uh, a liquid liner or a gel liner you can go in for kajal so the one that i have both are actually from color bar one is black rose and the other is just black both colors are 001 this is in the twisted format This is the one that I'm wearing to do to, today. It's extremely blendable, you guys, and this is so beautiful. It is absolutely stunning. It is super black, and not just that, it glides on. You can see right here, it glides on like butter. It's beautiful. I think there's plenty of other colors available, but since we're talking about basics today, I will recommend this kajal to anyone who prefers kajals. The other uh, one that I was talking about is Just Black 001. This is also from Color Bar. Now this, mine is hardly left. It's almost used up because I use Cardial and liners a lot. Uh, the advantage of this one is that it comes with a tooth a sponge or something. So basically you can just... Uh, so today what I've done is I have used another brush, but you can just apply your Cardial and just blend it out with this it gives a very beautiful smoky look guys great affordable price points this is for 598 and this is for 675 these are the retail prices again you can get better options in sale the deborah eyeliner is for 575 and the l'oreal ones the two i showed you the gel liners are for 800 each one another thing if you are a person who likes pencils although this is not included in the basic makeup kit but if you really want to go a notch above basic and you are someone who loves pencils i can recommend the l'oreal uh, uh golden pencil right here this pencil is something you can use in your inner corner also as an eyeshadow or just on top of your eye as uh, a liner as well these uh, pencils are also extremely pigmented you can see this they are beautiful they glide on like butter and l'oreal has some of the most beautiful shimmer pencils so you can visit and see the ones that you actually like. I think there are several colors available in this. The L'Oreal pencils are for 550 and the other ones that I'm going to show you are both from Color Bar. These are my favorite colors and I do smoky eyes with these two colors. This is a green and this is a blue and both these pencils are from, sorry, one is from, uh, from L'Oreal and the other one is from Color Bar. This L'Oreal one retails for 675 rupees. I will show you the texture of this pencil. It's a beautiful green color. I wore a beautiful mint uh, Indian outfit and I did a smoky green eye with this. I can teach you in a tutorial if you like. Mention it in the comment box below if you'd like to see. The one with uh, which is from Kalaba is Electra 04. It's a blue pencil. And this is how the color is. It glides on beautifully. It's so smooth. And these are the pencils you can blend to get a smoky eye look. But uh, if you are someone who really likes pencils on top of your uh, lid or on the lower lash line, then you can invest in these. But otherwise, I think the only thing you may need to um, in your starter kit would actually be a Deborah liner and a kajal. Other than these two things, you really don't need anything else in a starter's kit. Of course, once you progress and you become an expert, then you can add on to your makeup collection. The Color Bar one uh, retails uh, for 550 rupees. Now moving on to, again, one of my favorite makeup products, mascaras. I have picked up two mascaras for you. Again, both are from Maybelline. Maybelline makes some bomb products. I mean, they're so affordable and the quality. I can't stop raving about Maybelline products because they are so good. I have used so many mascaras, some of the high-end ones also, but these two are the ones that I reach out the most for. One is the Maybelline 
a sensational lash mascara and the other one is a the fall seas mascara sensation retails for 500 rupees and the fall seas retails for 350 rupees and this i think actually uh, the name is absolutely correct it does give a very fall seas kind of a look so if you are someone who loves who doesn't love beautiful curled up very thick lashes i do i die for them this is the product to use so if you have to pick between these two i would say go for the falsies now other important uh, thing in your makeup kit again not necessary to have you can have if you like to curl your lashes i like to curl my lashes and this is a very affordable lash curler from vega this retails uh, for 180 rupees um, and this is a beautiful curler i have again used many other curlers but i feel this is the most beautiful one if you are someone who's going to be using pencils definitely have a sharpener like this lakme has a sharpener it's a dual sharpener and this will cost you 65 rupees now moving on to super affordable lip colors there is one that i'm wearing so all the products that i'm wearing today are actually all drugstore the debra lip colors are extremely beautiful i have two out here and uh, they don't dry or chap the lips of course you have to use under all lip colors irrespective of the brand high end or drugstore a chapstick before you start your makeup now this is the color that i'm wearing today this is in the color 08 it's a no transfer lipstick my hand is full of swatches this is how it looks it's going to matte out and it's going to matte out completely you can see on my lips so both these lipstick guys retail for 850 rupees and the second color looks like this oh that's a very pigmented color and that's extremely bright yeah but i think that looks really well uh, with a very nude uh, makeup look if you'd like to see a look with this lip color particularly let me know uh, put a comment down below and I shall film it for you. Now moving on uh, to something very quick, the tools that you need. I think the only couple of things that you need in a beginner's kit is a very good blender, a sponge. And then the pointed edge you can use to uh, do your concealer to dab that in. And the flat edge you can use for your foundation. This is more than enough. Now the other thing you need is a good powder brush. Uh, because it's very important to set your makeup because it's so so hot in Delhi and uh, it can go crazy your makeup can actually bleed if you don't set it the powder brush that I recommend is again from Maybelline it's amazing how Maybelline has come up with such a beautiful brush there are two that I've bought this is the one that you definitely need to buy it's more like a flat it's a very dense brush but it's so soft to apply your powder I mean it just fits in so well and this if you see is a bit angular as well you see the angle there so you can use the same brush to uh, uh, put in your bronzer right here and then blend it with the flat side of the brush I think this brush can also do the job of applying a blush so if you are on a budget and you need one brush to do the job this is the one this will put your powder in place, this will do your bronzing, this will do bronze blending and then it will also help you put your blush on top. Uh, for your highlighter, I think just use your fingers. I Even I, I have a brush but I all the time use my finger for your uh, ring finger works beautifully well for a highlighter and it just, don't pick up a lot, don't rub your finger too much, just a little bit goes a long way for highlighter and if you are a highlighter girl like me you can actually put in some extra that's perfectly all right an extra glow never hurts one last makeup product is a setting spray it's really important to have a setting spray even if you're a beginner now this setting spray is from color bar it's it's a stay the day finishing mist it's a 100 ml product and this will really last you a very very long time as this baby right here retails for 850 rupees i think it's a wonderful setting spray for a drugstore brand i have some of the high-end ones but i definitely reach out for this very very often so guys this is it this is my collection from the drugstore of all the beautiful makeup that's available at drugstore for the beginners 
I hope you found this video helpful and useful. If you did, please do like the video, definitely subscribe and if you have anything to say to me, mention it in the comment box below. I cannot wait for the part 2 of the video and I'll be filming it very soon and uploading it very very soon. Until I see you next, stay healthy, stay beautiful.